Let me just get this out of the way right now. This movie had some incredible Blu-ray. Alright guys, nice to have you back. Um, today, Tyler and I are going to start doing kind of a review system. Since you guys may know, I have the Bond 50th Anniversary Blu-ray box set. We're going to be watching all the movies, at least I am. You'll probably watch a few of them. And uh, we'll come to you with uh, reviews on them, on what we thought. So, first of all, let me just uh, say that I've seen all these movies before. But it was way back in like elementary school. Like I loved James Bond. I, those were like my favorite movies, and I watched them all. And I couldn't get enough of them. But I can't exactly remember all of them. Like I know the names. I know who's in them. But that's about it. So uh, you got anything to say right now? I've only seen like four, maybe five, five James Bond movies. Which ones are those? Um, Casino Royale, uh, Quantum of Solace. Golden Eye, Die Another Day, there it is. That's shitty and, one. And now, Goldfinger. So, Wait, did I even say that we this sorry. was a Goldfinger review? No, no. Well, this is a Goldfinger review for all of you guys who couldn't fucking figure that out by the title up there. So uh, let's just start this out by uh, starting with the story. The story was fine. It was. It's just a James Bond story. A lot of them are kind of ridiculous and... Uh, they're just entertaining, and that was exactly what this was. Basically, uh, Goldfinger just wanted to take over Fort Knox and get a bunch of a bunch of gold, pretty much. So, uh, you have anything to add to that? Um, what do you think of the story? I thought it was fine. Yeah, I thought the story was pretty good, entertaining. Um, it all fit together pretty well. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. All right, um, acting. There's not really much to worry about here. All the acting is... For those days, I guess you could say top-notch. Um, a lot of funny parts with the acting, just just because of the script. I think they try to add a lot of comedy in there to make you laugh and to entertain people, especially in the older ones. What do you think about the acting? I thought it was great. Yeah, acting was, uh, let's just say, top-notch, as Luke would say. Um, no complaints, just cheesiness. That's kind of what James Bond is, is just a bunch of cheesiness. A lot of them are like that, except for, like, the Daniel Craig ones and the Timothy Dalton ones, from what I remember, The Living Daylights and License to Kill. I remember those being a lot darker, and uh, I'm really looking forward to going back and watching those. There's special effects. There isn't really much there, not much to worry about. There's a couple of explosions. They look fine. Um, especially, especially with the Blu-ray. Don't yeah, forget that. The Blu-ray, it just makes the whole movie look amazing. Well, well, one thing that I don't want to talk about is some parts in the movie, it started to fast forward. Like, some of the shots, it like, they would just, I don't know, the, kind of the action scenes, they would just, like, move really fast. Like, you could tell, like, something happened. I don't know, they fast forward it. So she, like right in the opening um, shot, Sean Connery's like whipping some crap off his head, and it just like it's like they it's hit like the double yeah, button. It's, yeah, the pacing in this movie was it was all right, you know, and there wasn't anything wrong with it. It never really bored me at all, and uh, I don't know, it's pretty entertained the whole time. I didn't lose interest. Yeah, and I wasn't really bored with this movie at all. There was no real like scenes that I was like, come on, let's go, move it on. I thought every second. Of you know watching this movie, it was you know my eyes were on the screen the whole time, so pacing was good. All right, well I think that basically um, just about wraps up our review. Um, I think I will end up giving this movie. You know I think I might have to go four and a half out of five on this one. Now I mean it just it's just a classic. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those must-see Bond movies that everybody should see. So if you haven't seen it already or if it's been a while, definitely check it out before you see Skyfall because it's just one of those movies that you can't miss out on. Yeah, um, I would probably have to end up giving it a 4.25 out of 5. I thought it was good, but uh, I'm a big Daniel Craig fan, so I'm just Casino Royale. That's where it's at for me. But I'll definitely get more <coughs> Bond movies. Hold on, fuck. Sean Connery. <coughs> Fuck. All right, go ahead. I'll give. Uh, all right, hold on. 
I'll give more uh, Bond movies a chance. You know, I'll definitely watch them, but I'm definitely, uh, you know, Daniel Craig. Can't wait for Skyfall, so. Yeah, Skyfall does look really good. All right, well, I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. We're going to come back to you with um, a review on Skyfall. Yep. Shit. All right, well, do, do what you guys have to do. Like, that's one. Comment on what you thought. Maybe we can have a bit of a convo going. Subscribe to this guy. Yep, subscribe is another big one because uh, the more viewers, the better. And, uh, yeah, I think that, that just about uh, sums it up. I will be hopefully seeing Cloud Atlas and Flight this weekend as well so I can get reviews up on those. I'll have my friend Heggy here helping me out with that. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. We're going to go watch some Sony bitches.